member of parliament, Derek Stone. Come on in there. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Great to be here. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Hello, Cochran. How are you doing? One of the things that we want to do uh, in Canada and on this tour is to talk about how to make Alberta great again, but we also want to talk about how to make politics fun again. <laughs> politics is pretty boring, isn't it? You know, you have a lot of, you know, grandstanding speeches and, you know, people, people um, not answering any questions and just, you know, standing up and using the House of Commons as if it's a theater. And it is a theater in a way. It's, it's almost like Hollywood, but for ugly people. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. And um, I believe that Canada deserves a new movement that puts Canadians first. And that's what we're going to create. Now, if we have to start small, so be it. But we have a, we have a lot of traction around the country. We don't know when the election is going to be called, but whenever it's called, we're going to be ready on a small scale or on a big scale, depending on how much time we have. We have a party structure in all parties that is preventing MPs from representing their constituents. So instead of voting the way that they think you guys want them to vote and the way that they think it should be, they're doing what their leader tells them to do, even in the Conservative Party, which had from the reform days a, a strong uh, you know, preference for free votes. But right now, we're not seeing free votes, okay? It's, it's supposed to be free votes on almost everything if you look at the Conservative Party Constitution, but the only time they're giving them free votes is when it's explicitly like a moral issue. So if it's shutting down you know, Alberta's industries, that's not a moral I issue for them, so it's not a free vote. If it's explicitly a moral issue, you get a free vote, but they will, um, led by the MP in this riding, who is the whip, they will call you 80 times a day to try and make you not vote according to your conscience. And that's the type of thing that we're seeing in the party. And if you color outside of the lines, then bad things happen. And I know that many of the MPs in Alberta are against a lot of the things that O'Toole's doing, but you know, they're afraid to kind of stand up. They may say a thing or two in a caucus meeting, but when it, at the end of the day, when it comes time to play ball, they know what team they're playing on. And it's a shame that the party structures are destroying democracy. And it's not just the Conservatives, the Liberals are worse, and the NDP is, is awful when it comes to this. But this is what we live in. We live in where a, a country where there may be 338 MPs, but only four people decide how those 338 MPs vote. And that's a, that's a frightening situation. We also have seen in this country, all of the parties fail to speak out against the lockdowns, okay? All of them, the Conservatives, the NDP, the Bloc Québécois, and many of them were calling for more lockdowns. We've seen the Conservatives say that they're going to fight for Alberta, but now they want to bring in a carbon tax after Aaron O'Toole said he wasn't going to do a carbon tax and this is their, their new big climate plan. The fact is, is that the way the polls are looking, the Conservatives, the Conservatives don't have a shot, okay? And I'm not saying that out of spite. If I thought that they had a shot, I would tell it to you straight, but they really don't have a shot. So if you're worried about splitting the vote, there, there's no vote to split, friends. There's no vote to split. So, and let me just ask the audience here if anyone thinks that O'Toole has a shot of winning. Does anyone think that? No. no. Nobody. Okay. Well, and, and again, I mean, okay, so he wins. Then what? Well, you still get a carbon tax. You're still going to get him talking about, you know, all the same things that Trudeau talks about. Maybe not as much, but the same kinds of things. You know, it's, it's liberal light is what it is. But really, I think Canadians want a government that has their back, is honest and open, and is not trying to line their own pockets, and more or less lets Canadians get about on with their living, 
and you know it doesn't burden them too much with taxes and regulation. Yeah. And uh, we're really glad to get the different kind of questions because there's you know different concerns about vote splitting and, and all this kind of thing. And I appreciate your questions. You all know the values that I stand on, and the point is is you need to have a direction. Is if you don't have that direction, you're not getting anywhere. And you know, life can be complicated sometimes, but we need to know where we're going. And we, we, we're not going to, you know, get everywhere just overnight, but we know where we're going and we're going to get there as soon as we can. So thank you so much for coming. And God bless Alberta and God bless Canada.